Hey, what we have here is a Tootsie Toy Model B. Uh, this is modeled after a hot rod, probably not a real car, I'm assuming. I really don't know. Um, I found it in my book. Let's see if we can show you here. So it was made in 1960, most likely. Looks like this casting's been around for a while. But this color and this uh, size looks like it was done in 1960. So obviously it needs a lot of work. Um, I think I'm going to do a straight up restore with this to the best of my ability. I'm just going to paint it all red. Um, I'm not going to do the details. But what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, reuse these axles, but I'm going to remove them. And uh, it's actually a lot harder than it sounds because you'd think that you'd just be able to spread these open right here and then they'd pop right out. But this, uh, this metal is so brittle that if you tried to do that, they'd break and you just ruin the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the axles right here and then I have a way of joining them back together. That works really well. And then the, the ends, you won't be able to tell any difference when it's sitting right here. Now if you turn it over, you'll be able to tell that there is a joining. But otherwise, it's going to look brand new. So let's get started by cutting these wheels off. Now this guy is going to be dunked in the stripper tank. No, no, not the acid. It's not acid. It's some other chemical. Oh, okay. Here's my stripper, stripper tank. I wanted to show you the type of stripper I've started using. It is, oh, if it'll fit in the frame. Uh, heesh. Zip strip. Premium paint finish remover. Uh, it is crazy powerful stuff and it's also super dangerous. It's one of the reasons why I've started using the stripper tank. It's because I can dip this in here and I can keep it in the tank so it's not exposed to the air. I don't know how much that helps. I haven't read that. It's just my own own thoughts. And uh, then I just pull it out, wash it off real quick. And I can do that while I'm using a mask. And I think that limits my exposure as much as possible. But it does work really well. I've used it already once on a project. It stinks. Oh, I don't like the smell of it. We're just going to drop him down in there. And in about 30 minutes, actually I can leave it in there as long as I want. But 30 minutes and it should all be gone. So I'll just seal that up. And uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, for being 60 years old, this casting looks great. Uh, of course, we're just going to put on a opaque paint over this, so it really doesn't matter if there's discoloration or anything, but man, it looked good. That uh, stripper that I used uh, also worked really well, almost too well. It actually started to react with my gloves and bubbled them up. So I think I might just reserve that for times when I need you know, super stripping and get something a little bit less powerful, a little bit less scary to use for normal projects like this. But whatever I decide to do really doesn't matter right now. Let's go and get some nice red paint on this guy. You gotta walk, you can't roll. So I'm just gonna use Tester's Red for this car. But I'm gonna go with the metallic color too. I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't stand it not to do something a little special. So this was not the color I was looking for at all. So I'm gonna mix up a different one. I wanted something brighter, and that's more of a dark red. Oh man, oh man, look how good that looks. Wow. Yeah, that looks good as new. Now it is so, so, so tempting to add chrome to the engine. Oh, I want to so, so bad. And I think that uh, if the Tootsie Toy Company had the money or the time, 
or could afford to, they would have. And the reason why I think that is because the uh, six cents version, it's not the same, exact same, but it's close. The six cents version did have a chromed engine, a chromed grill, and a white interior. So that's very tempting to do. It'd be a little bit of work. I'd have to mask it off. I wouldn't do it by hand. I'd want to blow it or uh, spray it, not blow it. But, oh, that's tempting. Mm, should I do it? Should I do it? Okay, we'll do it. So I'm going to mask it off, and I'm just going to do those. I'm not going to do, like, crazy detail on this thing. I'm just going to spray the engine, the grill, and the interior. We'll see how that works. If it doesn't, I'll just paint it all right again. This was a pain to mask. I got the grill masked off and the engine masked off. But uh, I'm going to go spray it, and we'll see how it looks. My, oh my, oh my, does that look good. I'm glad I did that. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I think that if the Tootsie Company could have, they would have painted it like that. Man, that looks nice. Keep in mind that that is way blown up on your screen, so it looks even better in real life. Wow. Okay, so now we need to work on the axles. And for that, I've got a pretty good plan. Of course, if you remember, we split them in half. So now I have got four tires, each with a axle that's broken in half. So I've got to join them. And uh, it's actually a whole lot easier than it sounds. So I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so what I've got, I've got an aluminum tube that these axles fit in. It's a little big, but it'll be okay for our purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just a little piece of this tube off. And that is what we're going to use to join these pieces together. It's going to work really well. Clean those burrs up so they're not super sharp. I'm going to put a little notch here and there. And that's where we're going to squirt the glue in. And that way the glue won't, that way the glue won't kind of squirt out the sides here and accidentally adhere it to the body of the car and keeping it the wheels from spinning. So just one little thing to make life a little bit easier down the road. Gonna put this axle into this spot that didn't rhyme. gonna be awesome yes it will too dippity doo da doo 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 I know it looks a little janky right now but it will work okay my last little thing I'm gonna do just touch up these tires with a little bit of black paint. You can wash these until the cows come home. And they will never look good again. Paint's really the only thing you can do that I've found to make them look mostly decent, or at least to match the rest of the car. You hate to make a shiny, beautiful body and then have these crusty old tires. Sometimes you got to. I could have bought replacements. But try to keep it as original as you can with the parts. I do at least. <laughs> Boy, does that look nice. Oh, I think we really did a good job of keeping it in the spirit of the original toy while making it really special. That looks good.
Really happy with this restore. If you remember, this is what it looked like before. And now the after. Well, I hope you enjoyed this restore. There's more in store, more restore in store. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. But there's more restores in store for us. Just uh, keep a lookout for us. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.